Aaron Warburton, congratulations on being appointed Canterbury Bankstown Bulldog CEO. What does this opportunity mean for yourself? Thank you, Zap. It's, uh, man, it's extremely humbling. I'm, uh, I'm still pinching myself, to be honest. It's been a, a crazy ride over the past few weeks and um, in the past four years since I departed the club. So I spent seven years here from 2010 to 2017. Learned plenty and, um, and just so grateful that I can come back to the club, um, which meant so much to me and gave me so much and, and make an impact. Having worked here before, does it put you in a good possession, position heading into 2021? I think it does. I, I, I look back and, and I learned so much about what I know now, my business acumen, um, the culture and, and positivity that just sort of you know, bleeds out of this club on a daily basis, win, lose or draw. So to come back and, um, and, and really get my, my feet dug in and, and work with my team to, to hit the, the heights and goals that we know we, we can achieve, it's exciting and I, I can't wait to get in there. For yourself personally, what are some of your strengths and what will you bring to the club? So my, my strengths sit and lie around the commercial space, so stakeholder engagement from sort of our membership base all the way through to our sponsors and, and other dignitaries. So a goal of mine is just to bring back um, and engage with that loyal audience that we do have. Uh, anyone that can make a difference in this club and make a positive one, you know, we want to talk to and we want to bring back and make it feel like it's their club and, and it's home, uh, in which it is. So it's a, it's a challenge and I know that one that I'm ready for. For yourself, as um, with the season um, not too far, just around the corner, yeah. what are some of the short term goals for you personally? For me, it's to, to get in there and meet my team. I'm hearing some really good things about the team that's on and off the field. Uh, I know that the last 18 months as a whole have been really challenging, particularly the last six months and, and leading through an off season where, you know, new coach, new direction, um, and just a lot of optimism in the air. So to be a part of that, uh, like I mentioned, to get in there and, and really get my hands dirty, that's, um, that's my first, first initiative. What are your long-term goals and vision for the club? The club, uh, as the football team continues to improve, you know, and sitting in that constant top four position and just always challenging for titles is, is the goal of any football club and the Bulldogs are no different. Uh, what I want to bring to the table is to make sure from a commercial point of view, uh, we're flourishing. We've got members that are happy. We've got a community that's engaged. We've got sponsors that feel you know, included in the process. And on the back of that, uh, the investment of the, the commercial side of the business uh, is in a healthy space. So for me, from a long-term point of view, across all metrics, I want the Bulldogs to be you know, at the top of, of, the, of the league. Uh, and then we can really set our sights on what, you know, after year three looks like. What is your message for our members, fans, corporate partners and sponsors? My message is clear. It's, uh, it's get involved. This is the year that um, I think a lot of fans, members and sponsors have been waiting for. Um, I'm hearing nothing but positive, you know, um, intentions out of Trent and the playing group. I know that um, just a buzz in the community, even in the last few days, speaking to stakeholders who, are, who have just got that, you know, that sense of um, pride and we're a proud club and, and our fans and everyone associated with it needs to be proud. Yeah, having a strong focus on commercial and community, Aaron, how important is that to be a successful football club? Oh, it's imperative. And to be honest, that one of the main reasons I applied for this role and, and took the role ultimately was the passion that I see in this community and I, I'd seen for so many years. It's like no other. So I know that when Canterbury is firing all, all cylinders, that there's, there's no rival. We're the most passionate supporter groups. We've got some of the most avid fans in the NRL. And from a social inclusion point of view, you know, we're the most multiculturally supported club in the league, if not the country. So 148 you know, nationalities that sit within our catchment. I think that's pretty special. It's super unique and something we really need to leverage. And what excites you about being a part of the Bulldogs once again? Where do I start? To, to walk into the club today and, and, you know, it feels like yesterday that I left. So to be at the the club at the helm with a, with a really good support staff behind me. Um, you know, watching the team succeed and putting all that hard work that they're doing in the off season to, to good work throughout, I just can't wait to see them kick the ball.